out for another drive on beta 9.1 we are gonna see this is the same drive um, that I took to go get my hair cut a couple weeks ago I'm gonna make it exactly the same way we'll see previously we got two single intervention or sorry two single disengagement drives and we're gonna see if we can make that two a zero disengagement drives and so just sit back and watch and we'll find out as you can see GPS issues back and it's freaking out it, it braked because it thought it was on the wrong road it still thinks it's on the wrong road yeah, this is uh it's gonna miss the exit Wait, there it goes it's locked back on Quicker. I'm gonna turn this blinker on. Okay, yeah, so that was about the same merge wise. Uh, the GPS uh, merged havoc on that section there. However, I will say that uh, it is improved in terms of recovery uh, before it was just like red hands and freak out and just like give up but it definitely did a better job at recovering and not just completely mess it up so I will give it that okay right here's what it should get over that this is the problem okay now they okay Yep, so I had plenty of room to get over, and then this car uh, decided to speed up. I, I turned his bl my blinker on after his. I could myself easily have made it over. And the second problem is because of the follow distance I have set, it's not going to speed up, and so I stayed the same speed behind with the car behind me. So that that's one of the things I'm looking for improvement on Navigate on Autopilot, is for that to just be better it, it should be more aggressive I'm getting over in its lane when it has the space to do so the same thing applies for sorry I'm trying to get ahead of this applies for uh, city streets when it has space it should get over now it should get back over See, it needs to just go ahead and get back over, but it's not. I don't know if because, I guess maybe because it detects that car in front of me, it's going slower than I am. So perhaps it was right, and I was wrong. It could tell its speed, and I couldn't. Now this is going to be an issue right here. We have traffic piling up, and I need to get behind these cars. So it didn't end, actually end up being an issue. But it could have been. It could have been. If all those, if I was all oh, five seconds earlier, that could have been an issue. It needs to go a little bit faster for this intersection. And it needs to start speeding up sooner. I'm kind of glad it actually got it in the right lane here and turned the blinker on. Ooh, no, no. So I did see that car just trying to pull out. So already there's a red light up here, and it's, it, you can tell it can no, it has noticed it. It's starting to slow down. I think it could be another 5% sooner to slow down, 5-10% sooner, but otherwise that was good. Okay, it needs to turn. This is the first time it's ever done this. It, it just forgot to turn. And usually we get in the far right lane, which is what I prefer. 
but it's still going. It's going for the green arrow. I'm pressing the accelerator to make it go a little bit quicker. So it's definitely too hesitant. In fair, what it should have done is got over in the right lane and stayed in the right lane. We don't have to be in this left lane for quite a bit further. So, and since it's not high traffic right now, it's not like we need to get in the left lane early. So it's right, going for zero disengagements and not zero interventions. Assuming I don't catch up to this car, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the right lane. I'm gonna force it to get in the right lane just because I am training the car to do what it should do uh, in the fr from the get-go. It should go ahead and be in this lane. And once we pass the bridge way up ahead, that's when it should get in the left lane. Again, because the speed change, because I was going fifth, uh, the speed limit is 50 right before the 35 changed, uh, then it wanted to get over because it thought this truck was going too slow, and in fact, the truck was going the same speed I was. But now it's stuck here in the left lane. I really should have canceled that, that turn. But smoothness like that will improve with the future updates. It, I can already tell, tell they are training it based on what I do. It appears to be that way. So based on the adjustments I make, it is taking that input and feeding it back into the neural net. And so in this area, it will slow down or speed up at different areas or get into different lanes at different times based on what I do. I've noticed that happening, so that's eventually gonna go to every car, um, to where it basically does the average of what everyone says, or every, every car does, not says. But that's that's how I think they're gonna train it. They're basically gonna do the average. What does what do most people do? Do they get in the right lane first? Do they stay in the left lane the whole time? Do, do they get over first? What, what do they do? So we need to get in between these two cars. Where that car just pulled out is where I need to get. So this is very good. It has no cars. So it needs to just go. I'm gonna, come on, go, 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 go. Again, it needs to be more aggressive. Okay, why are you stopping? I'm going to turn down the speed again. This is a narrow road with a curb at the side. So if it goes into the curb my wheel is destroyed so I just play it safe on this road I think the speed limit is actually 20 on this road I'm oh, sorry 25 okay in 500 feet your destination will be on the right and it does appear we have made a zero intervention drive, so where those people are, where I'm going. And so we are ready to pull in, and I will bring us back once we are on our way back home. We are back. Just a small caveat to our situation, the um, white building over there um, is where I thought we were going to park. We just parked across the street, so it's basically the same path, just have to clarify that. Also, navigation wants us to go to the left. To make the route the same as last time, we are gonna go to the right and pull one out of here very slowly. I'm gonna wait until it recalculates the navigation and I will enable it. As you can see, we also have a light rain. I don't think that's gonna matter too much. There we go. Okay. Now what I'm watching for up here is this road again is pretty narrow. Uh, I'm looking for the curb. How close does it get to the curb? In 500 feet, turn right onto Spartanburg Highway. I will review the video after, but we're decent ways away from it. Could have been further away from my liking. Right Spartanburg Highway. 
Ooh, okay, we stopped too soon for that stop sign. I'm pressing the accelerator. Okay, we're gonna... I guess we're gonna call that an intervention because... We're also a Model Y back there. Um, yeah. I... It would have been fine. I kind of call that a sort of intervention because I really didn't need it. It would have been fine. It's just... It absolutely, um... Uh, cut through that blue... Blue through the stop sign is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I tried to brake for those cars right there. I've noticed um, when the cars are on, either oncoming from the left or on the left like that stops, they will uh, cause my car to hesitate as if they're in my lane. So I'm gonna make my car get over once we're past this truck enough. This is when the car needs to know they get over it because there's a car tailgating me and it should get over to let that car pass. What it's gonna need to do up at this light is, uh, you'll see the red lights far up ahead. It needs to get over in the left lane before it gets to those lights. Very good. And the speed limit changed and it's speeding up. slowing too hard for that car and it needs to slow down I'm gonna go ahead and slow right here it's not getting in okay got in this lane way too late um, this is the first version to do that the previous version uh, was great it got over on the dotted lines as soon as they started this version for whatever reason was far too late to get over on onto this lane I thought it was actually going to go straight uh, straight through instead. Okay, made the turn, had a little bit of hesitance there. I'm going to see what it does for this light. This is what light I'm always watching. It's hard to tell from your video angle, but okay, so I just turned yellow. My car could not tell if I... Well, that did fantastic, actually. Um, well, that was a little bit harder of a break, but um, it was doing great. Uh, what I'm getting at is that hill blocks the light, so it can't see the light until it got over the crest of the hill. And so previously, on previous versions, it would see the light and start jamming on the brakes far back, or it would turn green. I could see the green light, but the car couldn't. And then it would start still brake, even though... It, know the light's actually green but now it appears to be much more confident with that light okay this is actually the wrong lane um, my understanding is you shouldn't get into the turn lane for the exit until you're past those lights now that is debatable. Please uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think should happen at this intersection. Um, I'm mixed because I this is, says a right only turn lane, but I think it's supposed to be for this entrance here. You're supposed to turn in. So probably the people behind me are either I can't. Yeah, they have a blinker on, so they're wondering why I'm going straight. So I, I think what is supposed to happen is I'm supposed to stay in the left lane get past the light and then get into this lane yeah so that's something we'll have to it's kind of debatable so i want you guys to comment down below what you think should happen well okay i thought that's not it's it's um it's a routing issue i'm going to change the terminology i use for that So that was a definite intervention there. So, K 
can't call this a uh, back-to-back it's no intervention drive but we'll call we'll just kind of officially call this a two intervention drive I assume it and I don't have intervention coming back uh, on the highway which is possible but much less likely of course also this first of all cameras are clear clear as day there's like there's a tiny water drop like right there you can't even tell hardly and I don't understand why I disabled navigate on autopilot there's nothing covering up the cameras I have wax on the lenses of the camera so any water will beat up and fall off so the cameras are clear right now and yet it disabled navigate on autopilot I think it's strictly based on the wiper speed because the wiper speed went up um, is just automatically disables it which it's uh, obviously wrong. It should disable it only if it, the cameras can't see out. Which is, a, I don't know if ironic is the right word, but I've seen the cameras like barely visible. Like you can hardly see anything out, and then <laughs> the camera autopilot still works. And then uh, the wipers are hardly wiping. So it needs to really go based on the vision of the cameras, on based on if it's going to uh, uh, turn off navigating autopilot or not. Okay, so we're gonna see if it wants to take a right again. We'll get it. I don't know what it's doing. Like, I, d I don't get why it wants to take a right on a left turn. That's the biggest issue. Again, I'm gonna repeat it every single time it happens. It is the biggest issue with full self driving right now is the car's ability to, to navigate. Basically, it can't read a map. That's the biggest issue right now, is it just can't read a map. It's nothing to do with the driving mechanics. Those are actually quite good. Obviously not perfect, but quite good. Um, once it fixes the driving, uh, the navigation issues with how the car like reads a map, then the majority of my issues will be resolved. Like, I think probably at least 25% of my drives will be zero intervention drives once I um once that is fixed so that's going to be pretty insane when that day happens but yeah um that is going to be the end of this video unfortunately weren't able to make it back without interventions that was three total interventions really kind of like two but uh, we'll call it free for this scenario but uh, I appreciate you guys watching as always and I'll see you on the next video bye